Hey, this is John here, and I am going to go at it once again and expose one of these work at home job scams. Now, if you don't know, I recently came out with the book, Work at Home Secrets and Scams to Avoid. And in this book, I talk about different work at home scams to avoid because there is a massive shift in the workplace going on right now. Everybody's moving from working in cubicles to using the power of the internet and telephones to work at home. But unfortunately, in this massive shift, there are a lot of people out there that are taking advantage of people by creating fake jobs that are scamming people and even subjecting them to going into jail. So I'm gonna be exposing the reshipping scam today, which has affected a lot of people around the nation and it really is the impetus for all of the stolen goods trade. The stolen goods market is billions of dollars a year and the way they do it is unwittingly using people like you, taking advantage of them to getting them to reship packages. Now I'm gonna go over this scam in detail, I'll go over the red flags to look out for when you're looking for work at home jobs and I'll help make sure you avoid these so you never fall victim. Let's get into it. Now, when you're looking for jobs online, the reshipping jobs will go under titles such as e-commerce quality inspector, or quality control, product inspector, or quality assurance, or different things such as that repackaging agent. And all of these are kind of synonyms for the same thing, is what you're doing is you're taking stolen goods and you're shipping them to somebody else so that the th real thief never gets caught but you end up getting caught instead and potentially even going to jail. Now, the reshipment scam works as follows, is once you get hired, you will get a package. You will start getting packages, like let's say this, and your job is literally just to take the product out of the package, put it in a different box, reship it with a different label on it, and forward it along. And what ends up happening, what you're actually doing is usually you're getting a package intended for somebody else and you're sending it to a, another person who may or may not have paid for it. However it works, the basics are the same, is you are helping in the transfer of stolen goods. And it's unwitting people that are being used all across the nation, all across all countries really, to make this happen and enable this trade in stolen goods, oftentimes without ever knowing. Now, if you've fallen victim to a work at home scam, let me know in the comments below. If you've been involved in money laundering or stolen goods or any of these other things which are real work at home scams, let me know in the comments. Binary options, fake stocks, all these things are all sorts of different work at home scams. Now, some of the red flags you can look out for, there are a lot of them, and you probably know of them already, but oftentimes the promises of an easy income without having to do much work are you know, just so good that we overlook a lot of these red flags. But I'm gonna spell them out for you, and there's five I'm gonna go over in this, and I'm also gonna go over a few tips and ways you can find your own ways to work from home and legitimate ways to work from home for yourself. So the first is if the employer is using a Gmail or, or some other sort of free email address and they're posing as a company that's hiring. Most companies that hire, they're not gonna use a Gmail or a free email account. So watch out for people who are offering you a job but they don't actually have a company email address. The second thing to look out for is if you are interviewed via chat, okay? Oftentimes employers will do their interview with you via chat and they'll say this is a full-time work at home job, but they'll never actually talk to you via face, you know, like a, like a Facebook chat or a video chat or a Skype video chat because they don't want to show their face. Oftentimes they're based in Russia or China or Nigeria. So you have to watch out for that. No offense if you're Russian or Nigerian or whatever watching this channel. They just, a lot of these scams happen to come from those countries. So if you're interviewed via text, that's a red flag. The next thing to be aware of is if the person who's hiring you doesn't have a full name, if it's just like you just know them as Steven, it might be a scam because oftentimes scammers don't want to put a full name out there. And this kind of goes into our next one, which is if there's no socials, right? If there's no social 
media for the company or no website for the company whatsoever, it's probably a scam because real businesses actually set up time to set up a website. Real businesses or real people oftentimes have some sort of social media. And you can oftentimes spot these things because sometimes you'll see a Facebook profile but it only has one picture on it, right? And if the person who's supposed to be hiring you joined Facebook a year ago and has one picture, there's some red flags there. It means it might be a fake account. There's literally hundreds of millions of fake accounts on all of these social platforms. So. You know, that's a very common thing. A lot of the profiles on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc., are fake. And the last thing is if it just doesn't feel right. If your gut just says there's something wrong here, oftentimes you can trust your gut, okay? If it seems too easy, if it doesn't seem like there's any real business model behind it, if it doesn't really make sense. If they needed product inspectors, why wouldn't they just have them at their office, right? Why wouldn't they have them at the factory? Why wouldn't they have them, you, you, you know, somewhere at a different point than sending them to a individual person? And why would you be taking a package that looks like it's going to one person and putting a different label on it? Doesn't really make sense. But unfortunately, this is part of a multi-billion dollar per year trade in stolen goods that happens. And this is really the best way that criminals have found to make sure their risks are mitigated so that it never falls on them. And if you're caught assisting criminals in a reshipping scam, even if you didn't actually know you were helping send stolen goods to other people, you can still go to jail and people have. So even if you didn't know you were a part of it, you can still go to jail, even just by assisting them without knowing. Because really, the way the law thinks is you didn't do your research. And these are all red flags you should have watched out for. Now, my biggest tip if you're looking to work for yourself and work from home and avoid these sorts of scams is get my book. It's $1. It's $1. It's called Work at Home Secrets and Scams. And it goes over both ways you can work for yourself, the secrets, as well as the scams to avoid. And what you'll see is in chapter number two on page 11, I go over the top eight work from home scams and I describe how they all happen, including the free PayPal money scam, the binary option scam, the cryptocurrency scam. I go over the friendly hacker scam and a number of other scams that affect millions of people every single year. Okay, so you wanna know what to avoid. And further on in the book, I show you legitimate ways you can make money online. For instance, here on page 36, I just randomly flipped to, it's about 10 sites where you can create handmade goods from your house and sell them on sites such as Etsy, Amazon, Facebook, iCraft, and a number of other craft marketplaces that want people that can do knitting or other types of homemade goods. And there's many more types of jobs in here. I think over a hundred resources in general that will show you different places, legitimate places, you can find jobs to work for yourself. Once again, this book is complete. It's a workbook because I'm, I'm a teacher, so I wanted to make this sort of like a textbook. You know, there's questions to help guide you to figure out what your goals are, exercises, to go through. Once again, this is only $1 and with it you get a free 30-day subscription. You can cancel any time to what we call my internet jet set, which is every week you'll be getting emails from me which will have an interview with another internet millionaire, another person who has worked at home and created a million dollar business and will be going into their business model, how they do it and how you can do it too. So every week, so you'll be able to figure out where do you fit in this landscape of working for yourself. There's a revolution going on and it's really exciting. And I'm excited, I've created a business which makes me millions of dollars a year. It may seem crazy, but I live in Malibu, it's not cheap out here. And I've been able to do that purely from my home office, my spare bedroom, and create a really cool life for myself and my family. So if you're looking to learn more, make sure, check out this book, Work at Home Secrets, and learn how you can avoid these sorts of scams and also get yourself involved in some legitimate ways to work at home. Very exciting stuff. Look forward to talking to you more. Get the book and I'll talk soon. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and click the notifications bell so you're updated whenever I release a new video. And if you have any questions whatsoever, type them below. And if you are excited to start your work at home journey, 
type in excited in the comments below because I'm excited and I want to help you guys free yourself from the confines of having to drive an hour to work like I used to, having to sit in a cubicle, be depressed each day, be away from your family. It's inhumane and it should stop. So let's get it.